Hey people, welcome back to another Lockdown Extras video. Inside this box is a bike that I've never seen, you guys have never seen, and doesn't even exist yet, if that makes sense. And this video is brought to you by Squarespace. They are the all-in-one, all-encompassing online platform that allow you to build an unreal looking online presence and run your very own business. Now, this bike. So you guys most likely know about the Marin San Quentin. It's the aggressive hardtail with the slack head angle, 27 and a half inch wheels. There's actually one up there on the wall. There's another one, the San Quentin one right here. It's also the dream galaxy themed hardtail that I built last year. And there's also one inside this box, but it's completely different. The ones I ride are 2019, 2020, and it's all changed. This is the 2021 Marin San Quentin, the aggressive hardtail, which is actually getting more aggressive. We'll talk about that soon. But let's fire into this box. Let's see what it's all about. I have no idea what color it is. I know that it's the San Quentin 3, which is the higher spec one of the one, two, and three. Careful, Moose. He always helps open boxes. <laughs> Oh, this is like Fort Knox. They obviously don't want people getting in here. It's special goods. <laughs> That's it, mate. You get that corner. Go on, Moose. Go on, get it. Get it. Keep it up, mate. Get that bit, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I actually can't get into it. This is embarrassing. I should have prepped. I should have prepped my video a bit more. It's very rare that a bike arrives that I have no idea what it's going to look like. Oh, look, it's got wheels. <laughs> they haven't changed the number of wheels on a mountain bike. Probably forks. I'm excited to see what spec it comes with as well. That may have changed. Dropper post. The San Quentin 2 and the San Quentin 3 come with dropper posts. Sick black stealth wheels. They've even got like the stealth Maxxis logos that aren't yellow, which is cool, but I'm gonna upgrade them to Conti tires at some point. There will be another upgrade video coming. I'm so excited, I can't believe. <laughs> The order this stuff's coming out is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Right then. What kind of moose? The box is open, mate. The box is really open. You can have that <laughs> corner, that bit. Go on, have that bit. There you go. That's it, mate. Bring it to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That looks unreal. Can you see that? Wow. I should have worn sunglasses for this. <laughs> I was warned. Marin did say maybe stick some sunglasses on when you open this. There's too much stuff to cut to see what it's all about. This is so exciting. Oh look, there's a, that's a different sort of fade. They've actually used like block colors and light. That looks sick. From afar, that will look like a fade, but from up close, it's well clever. And the same there. Oh, come on. How cool is this bike? Would you say it's orange or red? It's in between, isn't it? I'd say orange, but... Would you? Yeah. Oh my God, it looks unreal. It's gonna look so sick when it's built up. Let's build it up. Let's get it in a stand and just start throwing parts on this thing because I can't wait to see it built. Look how sick it looks out of the box. That is a brand new color. I'm so into it. I love that it's just one block shade of, I do want to say it's more red than orange, but you guys can make up your own mind. The fade at the back end here is super clever. I'm well into how it like incrementally goes from red to black and not just with like a continuous color fade. That's really smart. From afar, it will look the business. Up close, it looks very special. It's got San Quentin up here on the top tube and the number three there. Obviously the number two and the one will probably be a different color. Well, they will be a different color, but this one's already got the dropper post rooted. The other thing that I noticed that's very new and we've made sure to do on this bike is internal cable routing. The old San Quentin had the brake and the gear cable on the outside, now it's on the inside. That cleans up the bike a lot. And new head badge, head tube badge, the square bear, rather than the triangle one. It's so sick. It looks so good. The reason I'm, I get so excited about the San Quentin is because a couple of years ago, I actually was involved with designing and developing this frame. We tested loads of geometries. We came up with the perfect aggressive hardtail that really does everything. Pump tracks, dirt jumps, downhill riding. I've taken my San Quentin to proper bike parks, massive jumps, as well as the big burn line at Woburn where I cased a jump, I've cased a jump harder than I've ever cased a jump in my life. Oh, it was a true test of the strength of the frame. And now we've got this one. And the interesting thing is, we had the opportunity to change the geometry. 
we tested a lot of new different angles, head tube angles, different stuff last year. We wanted to change it, but what we came back to was the exact same frame. Obviously there are those subtle changes, color, cable routing, but we could not fault the original San Quentin. So as much as I'd love to say that the bike I developed has been revised, progressed and developed, it hasn't, because it doesn't need it. We've just made it look a whole load sicker. And I think to really appreciate this bike, we need to get all of these parts on it, look at the spec. I think the spec might change, but we have to build this bike. So it is locked down. Let's do build lapses. So here we have the very, very first sample of the second generation Marin San Quentin 3. It looks so mega, like I can't stress enough how into this bike I am. Oh, I should have tightened that, but that doesn't stop it being mega. Look, it's almost like simplicity makes this bike so good. The stealth black is set off by all the black parts. We've got black stanchions here, a black stanchion dropper post black chain ring, black outer ring on the cassette, black drivetrain, black rims, all on a frame which pops so much. Like we're, we're in indoor lighting right now. You can imagine on a sunny day at a bike park, this thing just flying down trails amongst downhill bikes, enduro bikes. It's a very, very special thing. I'm stoked on the internal cable routing. That really gets that logo setting off better and it, it just tidied the bike up no end. And I've got some incredible news about the San Quentin and the extension of the San Quentin. So this bike, obviously it's 100% built for fun, but it's kind of built for adults. Like there, there's a range of sizes which work perfectly for big humans, teenagers, adults, whatever. And I've always found it difficult pitching hardtails and having this much passion for hardtails when so many youngsters watch this channel and so many young riders are getting into biking and that hardtail category is harder to access. Well. The San Quentin in 2021, or the model year 2021, which is available sooner than 2021, is gonna come in 20 inch wheels, which is like BMX size wheels on a hardtail, and 24 inch. So they tick the boxes for kids and young adult size frames. And that bike is gonna look incredible. Can you imagine how sick a scaled down little 20 inch version of this bike is gonna look? You could have like a mother or father and son or daughter set up two San Quentins, kid and adult. It's gonna be so sick. I just love it. I'm excited to see what the two and the one look like. In the same fashion, the San Quentin two is gonna have a dropper post. The one will not, but will have the internal cable routing possibilities to upgrade all of the parts, add a dropper. The frames are the same on all three, but they just have different colors. So, where does that leave us? Big bike parks are closed. So I'm very, very keen to get this out on the backyard dirt jumps at some point soon when it's not raining, but first, I'm very much overdue an upgrade video where I've obviously got my own sponsors, Halo Wheels, Gusset Components, Continental Tires, PNW Components for droppers and the loam lever, Muck Off Tubular, this needs a tubeless conversion. I've got options though for brakes, drivetrain, forks, suspension. What fork, I don't know what forks to put on this, but I'm so buzzing about it. And I'm really, really satisfied that this geometry didn't need changing. We had every opportunity to alter it and make amends but it's staying as it is because it really rides so good. And a kid's version is just gonna be epic. So upgrade video next. And then I don't see why I can't take this to the roughest hardcore bike parks because it is an aggressive hardtail. It's got an amazing slack head angle. It's got a 203 mil front rotor, which I think is super cool. Really, really powerful stopping power and a 180 on the rear. That's my favorite combo for these bikes. It's got a full 12 speed cassette for climbing up and then ripping back down and a big dropper post for headed to the shops or climbing up hills. Such a good bike. But I've talked about it enough. I think upgrade video next, 
then riding, but this is 100% concreted into my fleet of bikes now, and it's, it's no doubt gonna be my favorite. Thank you again to Squarespace for supporting this video. From marketing tools to analytics, they are the one-stop shop for building your very own online presence. You can purchase a domain name at the point of building your website to match up perfectly with the brand you're building, and then you can build in things like calendars and email campaigns to target your audience and land in their inbox with a really, really cool looking email campaign. So head to Squarespace to start your very own free trial, and when you're ready to launch, hit the link in my description below to save 10% off your very first purchase. Thanks guys, you're all legends. I'll see you in another Lockdown Extras very soon. Legends. Ready? Yeah. You okay, mate?